أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Just mention it. Not last one, just last one for today. Inshallah. The green turban. You mentioned at the end that you're not saying it's haram, but would it come under tashbih of Ahl al-Bid'ah to do it today? Today, yeah. if you did it, it would come under the speed or imitation of Ahlul Bidah. Yeah. But in essence, we cannot say the green term is haram in itself. I would not suggest anybody to do it today because you would represent something that the people of Bidah have made unique to themselves. But understand, when it comes to malabis or clothes, the asal is a bar. The asal is, it's all permissible except that which is forbidden. So if somebody is to wear like the reddish and orange color, straight, no stripe, no writing, we would say this is tahriman or karahatan, depending on madahim, by itself. Right? For example, in the time of Muhammad Nabawi, he was asked a question about shaving the head. And he said, this, he said there is karaha on it, because the khawarij had made this as their sign. But today, if you shave your head, I cannot say it's makar. Right? So that has to do with time. Right? So today, if everybody from the people of Bid'ah are dressing a certain way, I would not suggest you dress that way because you don't want to represent them. But I cannot say that in itself is wrong. Right? If tomorrow the people of Bid'ah all start wearing, I don't know, Adidas, right? Right? whatever, but that doesn't mean in it on of itself is haram. But if that became a unique sign of theirs, then we wouldn't do it to make, not make tashbih of them. Hayyak.